Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a different type of video once again. I just wanted to figure out how we could use some more of the makeup that I already own. We picked the random wheel of names included in all the makeup that I had and picked per category. There's not one for every single category like lipstick and mascara as well as setting spray because I don't have an extensive amount of them so I just pick those separately but the rest of the face was all done by the random wheel of names and I think it did pretty well it all came out really nice but without further ado let's jump into the application <music> Today we'll be starting off with the primer, hence why you're so close. As you can see, I've already done my brows and also my eyeshadow primer. The Essence Poreless Partner Primer, it's supposed to be mattifying and blurring with niacinamide. Everything these days tends to have niacinamide in it. It's like the new and upcoming ingredient. I don't particularly like this primer very much. I don't see much of a difference and it is very drying. Looking at it right there you can see that it is like more of a silicone texture. So I'm not going to put it all over my face just because it is so drying. I'm going to just put it through my t-zone. Because we're using such a vibrant little eyeshadow palette, I thought we'd go in with eyeshadow next. I usually don't like to go in with eyeshadow first, especially in my videos, just because people lose interest. But for today, like you saw, it is the Essence Bite Size Hot Jalapeno uh, Palette. Elf, obviously. There's quite a bit of, well, there's two, I uh, can't speak today. There's two elf items in here. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna edit it and put all the wheel of names in or if I'm going to break it up but I'm gonna try and break it up so there is another elf item in here and I only own like three elf items anyway so I'm going to start off with this like mid green shade over here which is the only other matte shade in the palette pick that up and I think today we're gonna to try and do a halo eye so I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner my mirror is quite far away from me today but i love this eyeshadow palette i really want to get more shades when i eventually go back to a country that sells elf because i really do like the texture of these eyeshadows i just don't know why i chose green because i don't wear green very often i do like it on my eye color but unfortunately it's so bold like i don't feel comfortable going out in it so i barely ever wear green eyeshadow but I would like to get like a more neutral tone I've seen that they also have like a purple one they have many colors but I'd like to get like a purple one or maybe a neutral one so that I can wear it like as an everyday eyeshadow I also didn't set my eyeshadow primer so it's moving around really nicely it's not getting stuck or patchy so I haven't used this in about I want to say six months since like November last year, I wanna say, if not October. Next, I'm gonna go in with a deep green with a small pointed brush, and that I'm just gonna focus on a small little area of the outer corner and inner corner of the eye, just to deepen it up and add some dimension. The shade is gorgeous. It looks kind of like faded and washed out in the pan, but it comes out looking like a nice, almost forest green. So I'm just gonna focus that on like the outer V just to deepen things up and then quite low down in the inner corner. Then I'm just gonna take the same brush that we used the lighter green and just blend the edges. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the green shimmer, pick that up on a flat shader brush and I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray just so we don't get too much fallout and it's it just ends up looking a bit more foiled. There's a couple of squirts and then that I'm just gonna place on the outer little ends of the darker green and try to blend it in with the green, still leaving a gap in the middle for our spotlight slash halo. 
Then I'm gonna take the gold and I'm just gonna place it in the middle. And I'm just gonna use my finger for that. Something like that. I really, really like the way that looks. There's barely any fallout on my face. I think it looks pretty good. I didn't do a random picking of a mascara, so I'm just gonna pop this on quickly and then we'll move on to the face. For foundation, I was really hoping for something else, but this is what we drew. It is the Mode Elite Full HD Matte Foundation, and mine is in the shade Caramel. I do like this foundation, but it's really heavy. So if you're not looking for that, <laughs> I don't think this is a great foundation. I haven't made much use out of it because I'm not sure if you can see, but it is fairly orange. I say that about most foundations, but that's kind of, affordable makeup and its issues but i mean doesn't look terrible on the skin it does look quite nice once it's all on and i have to blend it down my neck it's supposed to be a matte foundation but i think it has like a more natural finish oh no it does say for a natural finish i don't know why i thought it was matte but on the bottle it actually says for a natural finish if you can read french but honestly one of my favorite things about traveling is seeing all the different types of affordable makeup and makeup brands that are like made in that country. I think it's so fun to just discover if anything is of any worth. Like I think this foundation was about, I want to say between three and five euros, which is really affordable, more affordable than any other brand that they have there. I was really happy to find this and I go to France quite often. So it's nice to have that option if I, for example, had to lose my makeup bag or lose my luggage. Like, I know that I could go pop into a maxi bazaar and find this there. Kind of like a Dollar General, I guess. Or what is the other one called? Dollar Tree. So something similar to that. So I think it's pretty good. And this is what it looks like on the skin. So really nice, actually, if I say so myself. Next for we drew the She Glam 12 hour full coverage concealer and I got mine in coconut flakes. So let's go ahead and add this. This is not my favorite, it is quite dry. I think I need to add this into my project pan soon because otherwise I'm not gonna get any use out of it. I'm just putting it on some more places on my face just to lighten up the foundation and just balance everything out. Now lately, I don't, I think I've said this before, but I've really liked using like a flat paddle brush for my concealer. It just helps keep the coverage. Yeah, this concealer is way too light for me. I just wanted to give you, I'm not sure if you can see, let me turn my lights down. I'm not sure if you can see, but look at the creasing under my eye and I just applied it. So for me, that's the main issue is that, I don't know if you can see it better when I look it down, but it's already creased and I literally just applied it. So it's not my favorite, but it is nice to just play with some makeup that you haven't used in ages. I've been so hyper-focused on my project pan. Hang on, let me zoom you out. I've been so hyper-focused on my project pan that I haven't given much of my collection or my makeup collection much thought or use so i thought this would be a fun way just to incorporate that you know so we can just play with some more things i have no plans to declutter anything at the moment just for comparison purposes and also i don't have the biggest collection so i'm sure i could get all through all the i can, i'm sure i can get through all of my makeup in a timely manner but you know this is irritating me i have some mascara just here yeah i can get through it in a timely manner so i'm not needing to kind of use everything up really fast and also i'm on like a huge no buy this year so it doesn't help either i'm sure i don't know if you've seen but i have brought like a couple of new things into my collection but it's just like little bits and bobs but nothing like major or like big so <laughs> yeah i'm trying to be more like diligent just about using what I do have just so we can actually use it and get to know formulas like I already knew I didn't like this concealer because it creases immediately on me and I have like laugh lines <laughs> 
for pressed powder, we have the Maybelline Fit Me, which is actually part of my project pan and I have barely anything left. So what I'm having to do with this is because it's hard panned, I just take a little spoolie and I kind of just loosen kind of just loosen some up and then use it like that so it's basically a loose powder and this I'm going to use for under my eyes today because the loose powder we have is too dark to use under my eyes so I'm just going to go ahead and just set my under eyes a lot of people were going gaga for this powder on TikTok and saying how blurring and it's not that great and like you can see I used basically the whole thing already and I still don't love it so I just feel like it keeps your makeup put for a limited time. Within an hour or two, my skin goes severely oily. So especially on my chin and on my nose. For loose powder, we have the W7 Sheer Loose Powder and this again, isn't the best like if you don't let your makeup sit for a little bit um it kind of goes claggy and like yucky almost like clay on your face so this is a very like tacky foundation so i'm assuming it's going to happen today what i'm going to do is just like bounce it on the face and then once we have the whole face covered i'll go ahead and just try and blend it and try and get like the excess powder off and i also try to like get it into my into my brush so that there's no like bits. Also this is in the shade Biscuit and W7 like you know is mostly sold in the UK but I have seen some people use it in the US but it's usually from like the Dollar Tree. So now that my whole face is covered in powder as you can see I'm very matte now I'm just going to buff that in so I just do like circular motion just to flick everything off and also that way you can feel on your face where you haven't powdered enough because it will still it will feel tacky on the brush and it feels like it's dragging. I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face and let give it like a second just to dry down just to get the powderiness to dull down slightly and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. For bronzer we have the another Mode Elite product and this is the Mode Elite Sun Air powder bronzer and it looks like this. This was actually the darkest shade they had and I think it is called, it doesn't have a name, it's just called Sun Powder. But this is the darkest shade they had, there was one of two, not very inclusive and you can barely see this on my skin but it's nice to just get use out of it I guess and that was the whole premise of this video is just getting use out of some random products that I haven't used for a while. So I'm just going to pop that. Can you see it? I feel like I can see it. It's more like a buildable formula, I guess. The last time you used it, I felt like I couldn't see it at all. It's not like a strong pigmented bronzer. I guess if it was a different shade, maybe it would show up more, but it is pretty smoothing, which I love about it. If your powder isn't smoothing enough, then at least like you have other products that can help you out. I'm also just using a really fluffy brush and doing it pretty haphazardly because it is so light that I feel like you can, it's foolproof basically. You can make mistakes or overload your brush and you won't be able to see it loads. So I also think this one was about three euros if I'm not mistaken, which is really, really affordable. Happy to have tried this again. Maybe I should add this into my project pan as well. I love using products that I actually enjoy because that way I can use them every day and I have an excuse to use them every day. So yeah, happy with that. It's chosen this highlighter from She Glam and it is the metallic glow highlight in Stay Sane and I was really intrigued like by this when I first saw it but it is essentially just glitter I'll show you it's very powdery and it is essentially an eyeshadow topper <laughs> can you see like the individual particles of glitter when you go into it with your brush as well it like flicks up so not my best purchase but i was intrigued so 
I'm also just gonna put some on my brow bone. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is like a dispersed glitter. I'm just gonna put it on the usual spots. I don't want to use a different highlighter because like I said, I wanna make use out of this, but yeah, you can see the purple reflex, not that well on camera because I, like I said, I need to sort out my exposure, but not bad. I'm also just gonna take, don't know how this will look, but for me, green and pink, green and pink, green and purple go together really well, like the Hulk and Barney. So I'm just gonna take some of this and pop that in my inner corner just to break up all of this green. I think this is the last product we have today and that is the elf bite size duo blush or face palette and it is in pomegranate this was in my project pan last year i used the highlighter and i hit pan first highlighter I've ever hit pan on which was great but i need a blush brush i'm just gonna pop into this this has hard panned as well so i really have to dig in and then just pop that on the cheekies. That actually looks really nice under the highlighter. I'm not sure if you can see, but it looks really cute. Oh my gosh, my under eyes are terrible. I'll zoom you guys in in a sec. They look horrible. It's aged me like 10 years. So I'm just gonna pop off camera and I was gonna say put on my lips and <laughs> add some lipstick and then we'll go ahead and see what we think. Okay, so this is our final look, but I just want to zoom you in so you can see what my under eyes look like. How bad? Oh my gosh, it actually looks terrible. It's literally aged me by like 10 years. Anyway, like I said, this is the finished look. For my lips, I just used my Wet n Wild um, lip liner well, it's the Color Icon Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut. And then I used my Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade 402, honestly. And then the, I just topped it off with the Soda Lip Gloss in Diamond Sugar, which looks like that. I got that from Beauty Bay. But yeah, this is the look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something different and something to you know use products that I hadn't used in a while it kind of forced me to take a look at them again like I said that concealer is horrible I knew that already but everything else on the face I think came together really well considering it was a random wheel that chose everything for us but thank you so much for watching guys please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about what you thought about the look and if you'd like to see anything similar or even if you have any ideas I also do have an Instagram as well as a TikTok and the name is the same as my handle here and I'll also link it down in the description bar but I hope you all have a great week further and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.